Okay folks, hello, hello, welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, we are here starting a new quest. We are doing When Freedom Calls. Um, if I just go into my pit boy and have a quick look, we are doing When Freedom Calls. Uh, we need to take the laser musket and uh, enter the Museum of Freedom. That's where we are. Uh, apparently we actually have a level up, so let's, uh, we'll go ahead and do that before we, uh, we go any further. Uh, I don't know which one. Let's go with Gunsling. There we go, we haven't got very much in agility, so I probably need to uh, try and increase that. But anyway, at the moment, let's uh, carry on with the quest. So let's pick up this laser musket. In fact, let's uh, short double our shotgun. Yeah, we'll have that. Uh, have you got anything interesting? You've got some road leathers, so yes, you have. We'll take that. Um, I think I was going to say there's definitely one around here somewhere. Um, da -da 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 -da. You've got some road leathers as well. We don't really need two sets. In fact, did you have a chess piece? Yes, so I'll have that as well, actually. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, yep. Um, what have you got on you? Fusion cell, explorer outfit. We'll have that as well. Let's take the short laser musket and the fusion cells. Uh, and let's, we might as well load that laser musket. So into our inventory, let's bring up the laser musket. There we go. So we have a laser musket and we have to charge it. And then we go into the Museum of Freedom and we shall carry on with this quest. Okay, so this is the sort of first proper, well, let's say proper quest in the game. It's the first proper quest in the game. It's still a little bit linear, but it's, it's certainly better than it was. Let's see if we can get this guy without using vats. And the answer to that question is yes, we can. Okay, and I think there's another one up here somewhere. Yes, there is, right up the top there. Can we get him? No, we can't. Well, can we use vats to get him? Can we get him with vats? Uh, not right now, we can't know, because he's uh, disappearing behind a, uh, a wall. Into vats, into vats, into vats, and let's see if we can take him. Nope, we missed. Nope, we missed. Vats being useful. Okay, we'll leave him. We'll deal with him in a minute. So let's head this way through this door, because we can't go that way. This is the gate. Let's go this way. Get that recharged. See, we've got all these dummies and we've got all this stuff going on. Make our way through the museum, everything's active. We've got a red blip, there we go, there's a raider, but he's disappeared through the door. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Close range disintegration. <laughs> So let's pick up some stuff from his puddle. Uh, okay, let's get that loaded. Uh, can we get our chap up on the top floor now? Oh, it's still very, very low. That's uh, possibility. I'm going to go for a headshot. Let's see if we can actually hit him. Yes, there we go. One hit kill. That's what we like. Okay, so we're reloaded. So uh, let's go down here because I can see a terminal. Uh, I'm actually nearly dead. I've just realised that. Uh, let me just bring up the pit boy and uh, we shall uh, just use the impact that they choose to. Uh, so what have we got? We have a novice computer terminal. So let's go in and try and hack this. So this is computer hacking 101. Uh, basically we just uh, we just need to choose potential mouse, uh, potential password, <laughs> potential mouse, potential passwords. Oh well there we go. <laughs> that was pure fluke. Okay next next time we'll come to I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do that properly. Okay, so, um, unlocking the gate, so we can now go inside here, and what we got in here? Ah, we have a fusion core, we're going to take that, that will come in, you want to take fusion cores all the way through the game, you want to take fusion cores if you see them, so what we got going on, oops, we're stuck, there we are, what we got down here, we have toolbox, what we got in the toolbox, men's hats, which are a, a, a kind of chem, uh, I don't use them, they temporarily increase your intelligence, I don't use them, uh, but you can sell them. Things like Jet, Psycho, stuff like that, they're all chems. Uh, you can get addicted to them, they're not very nice, but ultimately you can sell them, so I always take them anyway. Uh, what we got in the chem cooler? We've got some Medex. Uh, again, that's another nasty chemical, we don't really want to be using that. Okay, let's have a quick nosy around. We've got an ammo box with some ammo, we'll take that. We'll take the buff out, we'll take the melon. Buff out is another type of chem, which we will we'll be selling on. 
I'm not seeing a great deal else going on over this side. We'll take that fan. I'll tell you what I should have done was get rid of some of the junk I was already carrying uh, when we went through Sanctuary Hills, but I didn't do that. Uh, okay, does not like as much else going on over here. Although we will take that cap stash. Uh, bottle caps are always good. Let's bring that weapon back out because I think we are possibly going to need it in a moment. Okay, I'm not actually taking very much of this kind of armor stuff. I'm not taking the sack hood because I did just lost an awful. So I'm definitely not going to be using that. Okay, let's go and sneak. Let's see if we can. First time we're really using sneak. Well, you haven't got a reason, but you're going to get shot. Oh, well, that's just typical, that is, isn't it? That's being, at, oops, that's being as helpful as it usually is. And we shall dispose of our friend here at point blank range, because that's been insanely slow. Oh, it turns out we did take him down. Excellent. I didn't realise that. Okay, we'll take his long johns take that and we will take the harness okay and there's uh, an ammo box we'll take the shotgun shells and we shall take that but I'm, I'll take that the revolver pipe rifles are not too bad actually okay so let's get that reloaded and let's carry on uh, I think we're going up this way you hear that? So we've got some more raiders up here. Take a walk. Where they are? Back. They are around here, behind this door. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Now that wasn't very friendly. I will admit that wasn't very friendly either. I'll set my Velociraptor on you. We'll take your stim pack. We'll take your ammo. So we now need to go and locate the settlers. So let's get rid of that so we don't look too unfriendly, we'll come out of sneak, there's no point being in there, and let's go have a chat to our friend here, Preston Garvey. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minute. Ah, oh, that ain't it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Maybe? Who are these people? <sighs> nope. Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. What's up? Thanks. Good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. Maybe. But, well, we do have one idea. Nope. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? I dig. Minigun? <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Well, that's handy. High-grade, long-term nuclear We just happen to have one of those. Way back when. Almost as if I knew we were going to need it. <laughs> but we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. No, it isn't. I fixed stuff. It's in I my pocket. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. 
I've already got it. Actually, I already grabbed the fuse. Yeah, okay. I did kind of cheat a bit there. I knew well, we needed right. it. That's why I went and got it. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that mini gun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Okay, so uh, basically what we're going to do now is head up onto the roof. Uh, we've got the fusion core. I, yeah, I did kind of cheat a bit. I knew we needed it, so I went and got it. Uh, although, to be fair, when you come through that door, you do see it, and it does pique your curiosity. The first time I played the game, I went and got it anyway, so, you know. Um, before we go up on the roof, though, Make we're just going to have a quick chat to Mom and Murphy. There is a reason for that. Man, you not what I expected dog meat we'll find in that little neighborhood. But, oh, so much better. So he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog me, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Cam's kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see there's something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Whatever it is, I'll stop it. Oh, I wish I could help you, kid. But the sight ain't always clear. I'll keep concentrated. Now, if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Yes, we have. Bit of a painfully slow conversation, but the uh, reason we did it, we now know Dog Meat's name. That's the reason we did that. Uh, and we also know something's coming and it's a bit angry. Uh, okay, so that's where we've got to go, but before we go there, we have a bobblehead. Very, very easy to find this one, so it's not very well hidden. That's our first bobblehead of the game, uh, the perception bobblehead. Uh, that gives us uh, one point to our perception score. Uh, we can zoom in and out on it and sort of look around with it and, and look at it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to take that. That's a bobblehead, so that will permanently give us a uh, score increase. So this is where we need to go. So let's bring that laser musket back out and get it recharged. And we shall go and have a little bit of a nosy round. Just see if there's anything uh, worth looting. Uh, a few things that we'll take back as junk later. Uh, ammunition is what we're really looking for if we head this way. Uh, we shall head up onto the roof. Okay, folks, so we're up on the roof. Uh, dog meat's found something. Uh, but whatever it is, he's back inside and he's morphed through the wall. And he's come back again. Uh, I'm not going back in to find that. Okay, we've got a holotape there, so let's go ahead and play that holotape. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. 
Okay, so personal log from uh, the pilot, well not the pilot, but the guy who owned this power armour. Uh, we might be able to find out what happens to him. I've never looked, but uh, Boston Street is a location on the, on the map, so we might go there at some point and have a quick look. But first things first, uh, we need to take this power armour, so let's go ahead and put the fusion core in. And then we can go ahead and get into the power armour. And power armor is pretty cool. You get it quite early on in the game. Well, as you can see, really early on in the game. I'm not a big power armor user, uh, but I do use it occasionally if I know I've got something really difficult coming up or I need the radiation protection. But right now, it's going to let us take this here minigun. So we're going to do that. We have the minigun. Hello. Goodbye. Let's get rid of him. Uh, I'll take that because that's useful. Let's come and have a look at what these other raiders are up to. If I can take them up from uh, down here. No, I can't, so let's come down. Power armor also completely eliminates uh, falling damage, which is quite useful. I think I've already looted you, haven't I? Hello, I'm going to come and get you. Bye, Gristle. Bye, guy. It's amazing. They stand there and just let me mow them down. Well, this should be a little bit harder than I... Oh, my goodness me. We have a death lord. Uh, you probably don't want to be shooting at me. You probably want to be shooting at that gigantic beast behind you. Oh, not good, not good. Yep, so our first encounter with the Death Claw. Oh my goodness! Is right at the beginning of the game and you've ripped one of my legs off. Where are you? Oi, that's my dog you were knocking about. Die, Death Claw, die. Get away from me, Death Claw. And there we go. Well, that was a bit easier than it. Uh, I was expecting. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. We've still got a few raiders around, so let's go and see if we can get rid of them. Pretty easy with this minigun, I would have thought. Uh, let's pick up whatever you've got. Yields. And we have another raider. Goodbye. That didn't take very much doing. Let's take what you've got. Any more? Any more for any more? Yes, we have another raider here. Uh, would you be so kind as to step out from behind that pillar? So I can uh, blow you down head off, thank you very much. <laughs> That's the very British way of, uh, of, of uh, doing that there. Okay, so we've pretty much got rid of them all. Uh, glow side to heavy pipe, so we will take that. Uh, I'm going to take that gas mask. Uh, I'm going to take that out. In fact, what the hell, let's take it all. Right, uh, okay, any more that we can loot? Yes, we have. We have got some more stuff we can loot. Excellent. Uh, okay. I think that's pretty much everybody. That car blew up, which is what that big explosion was. Uh, cars in this game, if you ever play Fallout 3, um, you remember how cars and things exploded uh, quite dramatically. The same thing is true in Fallout 4. Uh, they really do go bang. So um, if you do get a car that catches on fire, get away from it. Okay, so uh, we've lost two bits of our power armor, but we can fix those later. So let's head back inside and have a, have a word with Preston, which I believe completes this quest, but we shall... We shall see where we go. Easy, okay? Fine, Just gonna go ahead and jump out of my power armor. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen. When we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I really... It is a, a really irritating glitch in this game, is the uh, subtitles. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, 
That's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, you talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then. Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh. Okay. okay, so we're all moving out towards Sanctuary. We've picked ourselves up another quest, which is to head to Diamond City. But we haven't quite finished this one yet, so let's jump back into the power armor. And we'll head towards Sanctuary, uh, where hopefully we should complete the quest, I think, as soon as we go outside. But I, I do want to do this to all of these, get to the actual official completion of the quest. Um, but yeah, we have picked ourselves up a new quest, and when we get Sanctuary we'll pick up a quest there as well, so... Let's just head outside the door... <coughs> and see what happens. In theory we should complete uh, when Freedom Calls in a moment. And that should be the end of this quest. So again, at the moment these quests are all a little bit linear. Um, I'm kind of uh, just sort of making my way through them fairly, fairly quietly. Don't okay. forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Okay, so we're making our way down towards uh, down towards Sanctuary. Let's just have a quick check when freedom called jump press in sanctuary so we just need to jump press in sanctuary i have to admit i'm gonna cheat i'm gonna fast travel to sanctuary uh so let's fast travel to sanctuary um they will get there eventually um but it just gives me a chance to do a little bit of housekeeping before they do and get rid of some of the rubbish i'm carrying uh, when they get to us that will complete the quest uh, so again, these these first quests are all fairly straightforward, all fairly linear. Uh, I always tend to play as um, as fairly nice characters. I'm not going to play as uh, as evil characters. So um, okay, let's just. Uh, I've got a drifter outfit. I've got an explorer outfit. Drifter outfit gives me five damage resist, um, but I can't wear any of the other stuff with me. Road leathers, I can. I think for now I'm going to go with the drifter outfit. Um, so I'm going to ditch uh, everything else, but I am going to keep. Obviously, I'm wearing the uh, I'm wearing the power armor. Uh, let's get rid of the bloke before I meet the buff out the crown, the death claw meat, medex, uh, the melon, the mentats, the mole rat meat, mongrel drog meat. We'll keep that. We'll keep radex and rad away, and we'll get rid of uh, all of the. Uh, all the meat that we're carrying. So, what I tend to keep with me in my aid supply, I always tend to keep stim packs, obviously. Uh, any Radaway I've got, uh, Rad X, and Purified Water. I don't use any of the chems, um, so things like Buff Out, Jet, 
um, Psycho, uh, Medex, things like that. I don't use them. Uh, normally because I'm travelling with either Nick or Piper. Um, Piper doesn't like using chems. Nick, I think, is not bothered either way, to be honest. And in fact, I actually saw him using Jet in, uh, in another another game on the PS4 version, so he's probably not too bothered. Um, but Piper doesn't, I do tend to travel with Piper. Um, so whether we'll end up doing that in this these quest playthroughs, I don't know. But uh, for now, we shall uh, get rid of all of the uh, other bits and bobs. Uh, what else have we got that we can get rid of? We don't need to keep that, we'll get rid of that. Uh, Perception Bobblehead, I will uh, keep for the time being, get rid of Red Menace as well. Uh, because I haven't got a bowl head stand yet, and I'd rather put it on that. We'll sort that out when we get into settlement building. Two 10mm pistols, so we'll get rid of one of them. I'm going to keep that. Uh, I'll keep that as a backup for the time being. Uh, I am going to ditch the minigun, because I am about to get out of the power armour. I'll keep those, I'll keep that, I'll keep that, I'll keep that. I'm uh, not going to bother keeping that, because there's not many of them. We'll get rid of all of that. This is basically just to reduce your carrying weight. Not carrying around stuff you don't need. Okay, so, um, let's get ourselves out of that menu, and let's get ourselves out of this here power armour, which I'm going to leave here. Another little trick, by the way, uh, that I always do is I remove the fusion core, because that prevents people from stealing your power armour. Uh, I think it also prevents your settlers from using your power armour, um, but it does prevent others from stealing your power armour. Okay, so, uh, we need to find uh, Preston. I suspect he's probably not here yet. We're here, Obviously, we're here in Sanctuary. That's Codsworth. We're here in Sanctuary, but I don't think the others have arrived yet, because obviously we cheated and fast-travelled. So, um... I think they are not very far away. Ow! What on earth? Go away. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead here and uh, we'll complete the quest when Preston gets here. Okay, so Preston has got here, so let's just go and have a quick chat to him. It's midnight, so it's a bit dark. Excuse me. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah, I used to like living here. Before the war? What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. And there we go, we have completed When Freedom Calls, and we've leveled up, and we've also picked up the first step, which is uh, another, whoops, Minute Quest. Uh, and I think we've also picked up Sanctuary, which is uh, talking to Sturgis, so we've got a few other quests going on there, but we finished uh, When Freedom Calls, so um, that's it for this quest. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and I shall see you again very soon for the next one.